this year was very exciting. We uh, won the hybrid category for Formula Hybrid. This was the first time we've won it, and that was definitely a great thing for the team to have that accomplishment under our belt. We've done electric cars in the past, but hybrid cars are definitely a much larger engineering challenge, dealing with both the IC engine and the electric motor and integrating them together. For me, it's like I've worked on the electric car my freshman year, and the transition from going from all electric to hybrid is definitely a big step up and increasing complexity, which took us a few years to really develop well, but we finally did it, and that was very exciting. Honestly, the, the spirit of the Formula Hybrid competition is to run hybrid cars. So I think that was really one of the main drivers in us transitioning. And also I think it's really great for all the people on the team to learn about both types of systems. Gas cars are still out on the road, they're very common. And in 2015, I knew almost nothing about IC engines. This year, it was really nice being able to sit down and see exactly what needed to be included on the car. And we were able to turn some of these wiring messes on the car. There were a bunch of relays and stuff like that. And we were able to put them on printed circuit boards and custom design those in-house and include all those electronics on a PCB, which really cleaned up the car and improved the, the reliability and that we didn't have so many loose wires on the car. So that was probably one of the major things for reliability and that is what killed us last year on the track. Our car shut down after half a lap and it was because of an electrical problem that one of the safety sh systems triggered and it wasn't supposed to. That was one of the main focuses of this year and I think we really did that well and really took the, all the sensors and everything we needed, all the different components and integrated them really well and made sure it was professionally done so that everything worked properly on the track and that I think really showed and that we were able to finish the endurance event, which is definitely the hardest thing for the car in terms of reliability to really get that completed. This year we got to test a lot. So before competition, we were running the car a few weeks before and really bring it to the airport where we were able to drive there on one of the side taxiways and being able to test drive our car over and over again really flushed out any little imperfections in the car and we were able to correct those and still have time to remachine parts or update the electrical systems to make sure everything was functioning at competition. It was a really good feeling crossing the finish line of the endurance event, knowing that we had you know, completed it. It really didn't sink in for a little bit until I'd gotten out of the car, but it was a really amazing feeling. Every single year we've kind of made steps in the right direction, but to actually realize that was really incredible. I think it was just an awesome feeling for everyone, seeing everyone up there, getting the award. I think that we really deserved it this year for all the hard work we've put in, not just this year, but in years past. And it was really validating kind of seeing everyone happy and being able to finally celebrate at the end of the competition. We're hoping to bring a really competitive car next year because a lot of other teams have promised me that they'll bring really competitive cars as well.